Hey guys, what's up? My name is Cameron Penner and welcome to a great new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a simple lighting system in your game with lights that can overlap with each other and it'll just add a little bit of atmosphere to your games. The first thing you're going to want to do is create an object. This is going to control your lighting. You can call it whatever you want. We're going to call it uh, lighting and in it you're going to want to have a creation event. In there, you're going to put some code, uh, and this is what it's going to say. Uh, light equals surface underscore create. And then for, oh, whoops, forgot the E. And then you're going to want to say view underscore width view and view underscore H view. Uh, that'll work. What this does is it creates a surface. This is what we're going to draw on to do our lighting. Um, and the light is going to be the the variable that it gets applied to. So next you want to add a step event and this is just going to be normal step and in there we're going to put some code and it's going to say surface underscore set underscore target and in there we're going to say light. We want to draw to the light surface and now we're going to draw set color there it is and we're going to choose uh, C underscore light gray and then we're going to draw a rectangle uh, from 0 0 to view underscore width view and view underscore each view what this is going to do is go f is going to draw a light gray rectangle over the entire surface. Next, we want to reset the surface drawing so that we are no longer drawing to the surface and drawing can continue as normal. So to do that, you just say surface uh, underscore reset target. And then just put those brackets there and end that. I did something wrong here draw rectangle uh, oh wrong number of parameters we want to add a false at the end here fa fa slowly there we go that'll work um, now we want to go to the draw event and here we are going to put some more code and it's we're going to say draw set blend mode we're gonna go to BM subtract subtract and then we are going to draw the surface uh, we're going to draw the surface light and we are going to draw that um, at view underscore x view and view underscore y view and then we are going to draw set blend mode back to BM normal. Now what we have here is if we don't put it in the room here's what it looks like. Our room is normal this is what it looks like without any lighting changes um, and now if we if we put the lighting object into the room you're gonna see everything's a bit darker and that is normal now what we want to do is add lights to light that stuff up. So we'll add an object and call it bulb and this is just going to hang from the ceiling and light up our room a bit. And what we're going to put in here is, oh we can we can slap a few in the room right away. Um, so these guys are just hanging from the ceiling like that. I'm just holding down alt here so you can put it into the room without um, without it snapping to the grid otherwise it does this kind of stuff so now the bulbs don't do anything right now but we are going to add a step event and it's going to be an end step and we are first going to draw the bulb right like this we're going to select the bulb and say draw it relative to self that'll just make sure the bulb gets drawn um, 
Oh, actually, we don't need to do that if this is in the end step event. Just kidding. So what we're going to want to do is go to the code, and we want to say size equals 128. And that's just the size of the light that we're going to be drawing later. So we're going to say draw set blend mode, and we're going to go to blend mode subtract. And then we are going to set our surface that we're going to be drawing to. And you can just go here and then and and choose it from that little list like that. And we are going to choose the surface light. And then we this is going to be a bit of a long one. We're going to draw ellipse. Whoops, two L's. Um, and we'll we'll add parameters in there later after the rest of this and we're gonna draw the light here pretty much and then now we need to reset the drawing and so we're going to say surface reset target and then we want to say whoops what are we doing and then we want to draw set blend mode we want to set that back to normal Now, in the ellipse, we actually want uh, we want a different one here. Oops. Is there a color there? That's what we want. Um, it just gives us a few more options. So for x, uh, we could say x minus uh, 64 or we're going to use size just so that if we want to change the size of the light later it's easier you only need to change one variable we want to say size divided by two and then y minus size divided by two and then we want to say x uh, plus size divided by two and y plus size divided by two and what that normally would do is it'll oh and we need our colors um, what what these positions normally would do is draw the ellipse over where the bulb is but we're gonna have to add a few offsets in there and so what we want to do is because the surface is actually in a fixed position it the surface won't follow the view around so we want so the surface is gonna be up here and if the view is down here then we want to make sure these lights draw it in the correct spot relative to where the view is. So to add in those offsets, we're just going to say minus view underscore x view. And we can copy and paste that into the other x parameter. And then if for the y parameters, we subtract view underscore y view. Minus view underscore y view, just like that. And for our other parameters, we're going to want uh, our two colors, and those will be C white and C black. And then we want to say false. Now, if we run this, you'll see each of these lights will light up a little area around it. And if we run around, you'll see the the surface will follow the view around the room now what you can also do if you wanna if you want it to be even darker is in here in this step event you can change this color to black and what that will do is make everything just kidding uh, white <laughs> there we go what this is gonna do is it's gonna make everything totally dark except for where you have the lights and what you can also do is you can get your guy and we can take this bulb and we can copy all of this right here and we can copy this to the guy um, and in here we can add an end step and this is going to do the same thing now when we run it you'll see not only are there lights everywhere but also there's a light by the guy 
so everything works good. And so you could say this character is holding a torch or something. Anyways, that brings us to the end of the tutorial. I hope you learned something. Um, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe. Till then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Special bonus feature. If you want to add, oh, let's delete that. If you want to add a sprite uh, as your light source, you can go to your bulb here, and in here you say, draw sprite uh, spr underscore light flare and we're gonna say sub image 0 and for the X and Y you just say X minus view underscore uh, X view and for Y you say Y minus view underscore Y view close that off uh, now when oh, let's uh, I've set this to gray so it's a little bit darker um, so now when you run it you're going to see there's a little bit of light flare on each of these as well as the the main glow and that just adds a little bit extra shape to your lights uh, and what you need to make sure is that your image is is uh, opaque so if if this picture has transparency then it does a little bit of weird stuff so just go ahead and make it black and white and the white is your light and everything else is black and that should help add a little bit extra shape to your lights.